defending champ, Brendan Gray. Yeah. How are we feeling ahead of what is essentially your hometown marathon? Hometown marathon, yeah. No, feeling great. Very excited. Um, yeah, good cycle. You know, everybody always says, oh, yeah, good cycle, good training. But, yeah, it really was, you know, a good good round this time. So excited to get out there and, and see see what happens. The last year, it, it seems like you always race very close to home. Is there yeah. a reason for that? Uh, you know, I don't know. I've raced all over. It's been almost 10 years now since college. And last two years have kept it, yeah, a lot closer, I guess. Um, you know, don't have a sponsor right now. So, you know, obviously uh, cutting down on travel costs helps. But also just, you know, it's, it's just easier a little bit. Um, and there's, you know, plenty of good races in Northern California. So I don't have to go that far afield um, to get, you know, good competition. And obviously having U.S. champs helps in that regard. <laughs> With the success of last year, is yeah. it you know, a binary scale of if you win, it's good, if you lose, it's bad? What, what are you hoping for? No, I mean, on one level, sure, yeah, but I think always going into races with, like, it's not ever, like, you know, run this or bust. Um, Got to kind of keep your head in it regardless of how things are unfolding. So, yeah, I'd be disappointed if I don't win, for sure. Yeah, that's, you know, goal number one. Um, but more than that, just putting down competitive effort and, you know, I don't know. Yeah, I definitely... At this stage of my career, like have goals and want to run faster. I think I've got a lot more in the tank, and that's really what gets me excited at this stage is just seeing how far I can push that in the marathon in particular. So, you know, I don't know. Could go out there and like, as long as you know, we go out and hit it hard and, and suffer and you know push to the line, that'll be great. And if you know doesn't result in a win, I can live with that. Um, so yeah, we'll see. But that's yeah, that's the big thing is just yeah, seeing how far we can go and how close to the line we can get. And hopefully there's a bunch of guys out there with me. So is, this course has developed a reputation yeah. as being very fast. Yeah. It, you know, it's a net downhill. Yeah. But first off, is that warranted, and why is it actually? Fast? Yeah, uh, the classic you know message board CIM question. Um, I'm obviously biased. Um, I do. My honest opinion is that I think it runs pretty fair. Um, I'm, you know, from here and it's very flat everywhere else. Like it's honestly hard to train for the hills because the course itself is rolling, but everywhere else around it is not that hilly. Um, but I do think that the hills make it an honest course. I would compare it very favorably to Chicago. I think it runs pretty similarly having done Chicago multiple times and CIM multiple times. Um, I think that the weather really helps things. Um, so again, that's biased. It is definitely net downhill. You do get you do get a nice boost in the second half of the course is very fast and runnable. But with the rollers in the front half, I do think it's you know without a tailwind, it's an honest course. In addition to just being a good course, Sacramento kind of underrated as a training destination. Yeah, I mean I love it. I mean I settled here, so um, obviously again biased in that regard, but. Um, yeah, we've got great river trails, um, you know, weather's great year round, it's hot in the summers, but it stays cool in the morning, so um, I love it. If you need to get to altitude, you're, you know, close to Tahoe if you want to do that. I don't do a ton of that myself, but um, yeah, as a training ground, I, you know, I've made a career out of it, and I think we've had a lot of other athletes from the area do the same, um, so. Unsponsored right now, yes. hopefully not for too long. Hopefully, yeah. Uh, <laughs> are you doing something outside of running right now, or are you... All in uh, mostly all in on running, I do coaching as well. Um, so that's kind of been the main thing. Uh, had a small part-time bartending gig in the spring, um, trying to float things and just have something to do <laughs> during the day. But yeah, right now just running and coaching. Um, so yeah, thanks. Nice. Appreciate it.